So today we're going to start on, we're looking at these brush strokes and we have done this brush stroke. Um, some of yours might have looked a little thicker like this, a little medium or a thin one here. Today we're going to do thin to thick like this. And you can see in the book even that it pulls down at the base of the um, line and that's normal for watercolor. So do not become concerned if the ends of your watercolor end up looking a little bit darker. So I've done two test runs next to ones that we did going from up to down and from left to right. If you remember, we also did down to up and we did um, These were down. right to left. Okay, so we're gonna keep going with what we, we learned last week. I'm wetting my brush. I'm gonna drop some water droplets in my paint to make it nice and, oops, nice and liquid, but not too watery. I wanna get some pigment in there. It's much better this week. You can actually see the pigment on my brush. So that is too much water. You see that? That is too much water. My um, brush is not coming to a point. So I'm going to drop some water off on my paper towel. You see my brush now it comes to a point a little bit better. So then I can get some color. No, you're gonna watch me. So I have enough color on my brush that I can actually see the color on my brush. Okay, so I'm gonna take my brush and I'm going to go using my hand like this because I'm going from up to down, girls. Up to down, up to down. So you're holding your, do you remember what you're holding your brush like? Pencil. Like a pencil. So right now in this stroke, we're going to hold our brush just like a pencil. And we're going to do five, we're counting five blocks. I'm going to do start at the top. You should not be working. You should be watching me. And I'm going to go thin. And then I'm going to press down to get thicker and stop. Again, I'm going to turn my brush a little bit because if you see where I was pressing on it, it kind of flattened out. So I'm going to turn it until I can have a point again. So as you're working, you might have to turn your brush thin to thick. Press down a little bit. All right. Thin to thick. And remember that we want consistent. They don't have to be perfect. They just have to be consistent. And again, I'm twisting my brush so that I get the point to start with each time. And it, oops, I missed my pressure there. When you mess up and you forget to apply pressure on what you're doing, just move on to the next one. Don't try to go back and, and add in the pressure there because that's, that's not what you're trying to do. You're trying to do it in one stroke. So going back to reapply pressure to one that you already messed up on, does not help you strengthen your stroke. So just move on to the next one. Leave it messed up and move on. If you notice, I still have not gotten more paint on my brush because I don't need it. Should we go ahead? Yes, you may go ahead. Try about 10 of them. See if you can get consistent. You are pressing down on the, yeah. you're pressing, Lydia, your brush is going down to the side, like this. Your brush needs to be up on its tiptoes, tiptoes, Lydia. Mm -hmm. It needs to be flat in front of you, in front of you. Mm -hmm. Hold your hand like this, 
like this. It's hard because I'm... I understand that it's hard because you're left. Maybe you should start here and work this way, but you're still it's doing the same. It's easier if I go up. I know it's easier if you go up to down, but that's not okay. Just because you're left hand, you still have to learn how to control. You're still using your bristles on the side. Look at me. Your brush needs to be like this. Look. Look at me. This. Not this. This is what you're doing. So like that? It needs to be like this. You're doing this. Do you see the difference? Mm -hmm. So like this? Yes. Yes, exactly. I'm just keep on doing them. You need to st uh uh you're not doing anything different. You need to have it up on the tip on the tip and then press down. Nope. It needs Lacey, stop. Lacey, look at me. Watch me. It needs to be up on its tip, like this. I can't see it on the camera, I'm sorry. Tip, and then press down. Tip, and then press down. Tip. Okay, come closer, come closer. Get on the, get on the barrel, on the, the metal. Come closer to the bristles. You're having trouble controlling it from far away, so I want you to choke up on it. Get closer to the end. Lace. Tip. It barely is touching the paper when you're on the tip. Tip. Press down. Tip. I don't understand. Use your pinky. Kickstand. Where's your kickstand? There you go. Kickstand. I can't use my pinky as a kickstand. My pinky's not strong. Now, do your strokes look like mine? Mm -mm. Okay. You have to keep practicing until I think they look I need like a mine. Color. It just helps me if I have a brighter color. Okay. Okay, so we're going to stop there today because this proven this has proven to be harder than um, you might think that it would be. You might think that it would be super easy to do. You got it? Kind of. Kind of. You're getting it. You might think that it would be super easy to do this, and it's not. And I she did. makes it look easy because she's professional. I did reload my brush, and you can see I have a tip. I'm going to use the tip, press down. Mine doesn't have a tip. Tip, press down. Tip, press down. And these aren't becoming consistent. They're consistent with each other, but they're not consistent with the ones, the previous ones that I have done. And the reason is because I have more pigment and less water on my brush at that time. So these, I had more water on my brush. And if you will notice that my brush stroke came out wider or fatter, and I have lots of less water. Like most of the water is completely gone on my brush and it was just wet pigment. And so my line is thinner. I'm using the exact same size bristles. I haven't changed anything as far as my brush other than the amount of water. So if you have a lot of water, you're gonna have thicker lines. If you have less water, you're gonna have thinner lines. Um, and that's, so if you're struggling with how fat your lines are, check the amount of water that you have. And just like I did with just pressing down on the paper towel, I don't know if you realized earlier, when I did that earlier, it made like a big puddle in the paper towel and now it's barely making anything because I have very little water. And this is Lydia's. Did I do it? So she's worked hard to improve, and yes, she's gotten it. Are they consistent? Kind of, yes. But you did get somewhat of a, a thin line to a thick line, thin to thick. Because it's easier if you just do one square thin and then the rest thick. Because then you can keep it consistent. 
you can keep it consistent or you can go two down thin and then at the third one start yeah. getting wider. But yes, you're right. Having that pattern in your mind, Lydia, thinking while you're painting makes a big difference.